has been through a lot of things that God brought us through. And that's enough to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and your grace, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I say all this in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yes. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Yes, he he leadeth me beside the still waters. Yes. He restored my soul. Yes. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Yes. Yea, though I walk through the battle of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The rod and the staff, they comfort me. Not a pair of table in the presence of my enemies. The Lord in my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Sure the goodness and mercies have followed me all the days of my life, and I will build in the house of the Lord forever. I read the Psalm 23 in part. May the Lord have the best of you hear the word. May we always be here doing something. Church, amen. Yeah. So 
Amen. We, we, we thank God for the organs and the, and the, and the pianos and yeah. the drums and yeah. all that. But last time again, I checked over and Joe opened songs. He said, make a joyful note. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody call back to me. Yeah. He said, make a joyful noise yeah. unto the Lord, yeah. all ye lands. Yeah. Then he told me what to do. Serve with Gladys. Come from the You know, know you that he's God. See, and all that, that it still works for what I just said in the beginning. Amen. Uh, uh, anybody got a real thank you in their spirit this morning? Yeah. 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 Because when you got that thank you, you come before his presence with thanksgiving and come before his course of praise. You'll be thankful in it. Thankful, 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 yeah, thankful, yeah, thankful, yeah, thankful, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thankful yeah. won't stop, amen, because you know who it is. God, amen. Yeah. He's glory. He's a wonderful God, isn't he? Yeah. Amen. He's a wonderful God. But what I do want to do as we as we prepare for all to pray, man, uh, I want to pray for him. Amen. Because they here. He's here. Amen. They be here. Yes. So we want to bind the enemy. Yes. Somebody talk with me. Yes. So you got to know how to intercede yes. on your sister or brother's behalf, on the people of God's behalf. Amen. And not get, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. 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 Not that. Lord, protect. Lord, wherever he's at, whatever. Lord, in your name. God, amen? Amen. To amen. intervene on their behalf. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you to come to the altar today. Um, um, if you can just stand where you are, <laughs> amen, as we go to the Lord in prayer. And I want to apologize. Uh, no one said nothing to me, but God did. Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. Amen. God did. Um, um, we we got to remember the atmosphere we in. Amen. Um, are you with me? Yeah, we, we have to remember the atmosphere we're in. Um, and then even to the perspective of, of, of servitude to God, service and servitude to God. Amen. Uh, and that's why you got to really be inclined, amen, to know that God's voice speaking to you, unctioning you. Yeah, amen. Because you can, you can you, uh, something can, uh, can jar your spirit, and you can think that's God. You can think it's the Holy Spirit. And then sometimes it, it may actually may not be. Yeah. Amen. 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 So I know y'all what did Bishop talk about? What you, I'm just suggesting um, at this period of time, last, uh, last week, this period of service, I invited us all to the altar. Amen. And, um, I did that um, comprehensively because, again, a family that prays together stays together. Amen. Amen. So we want to come together toward the altar. Amen. Uh, just to unite, amen, unite, bind ourselves in, in um, a strength, amen, of the chain, amen, as the people of God, uh, that's what he led me to do, amen, and I, I allowed us to ask us to hold hands. Uh, I want to apologize um, for that because um, no one said anything, no one said anything, and actually I want to, um, uh, uh, I want to commend you because you only did and acted in the obedience as the man of God asked you to do. And I want to say thank you for that because you got some folk that who he ain't, who you don't, 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 don't even know what he's talking about. Tell me, hold some mind. See, but it wasn't about. We don't have that spirit over here. We don't have that spirit over here. We don't have that spirit over here. Amen. But I asked us to do something, and we did it um, um, wholeheartedly, without any um, have no no function or negative. And I applaud you for that. And I thank God to have a group of people that love God enough to just do what the Lord. Amen. We want no options. But at the same token, I prayed about it. Amen. And we do have to be mindful of our atmosphere, of the time that we're in, uh, what's going on with us right now. Amen. Um, one thing I can say is that I believe, and it's proven itself yet, um, this is a safety zone. Amen. 
this is a safety zone. The house of God should be a safety zone. Amen. For more than one reason. Can I get a witness? Yeah. But I believe very wholeheartedly in my heart and my mind must be this is a safety zone. And we're doing those things that are uh, available to us to do to keep it that way. Amen. Amen. But I wanted to say in lieu of that, amen, I won't, um, if we come to the altar, you come on your on your own, uh, on your own, you know, perspective. If you need to have the need to get closer to God, come to the altar. God bless you. Be my guest. Amen. There may be times that He urges me to ask us to come, but I will not ask us to come and hold hands. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. All right. That uh, we still brothers and sisters in the Lord. Amen. I don't believe nobody got the heebie-jeebies or the cooties and nothing like that. Amen. 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 I'm gonna still love on you and hug on you and love you. I just did mama walk out and put the walk and she just walked down here. But the words tells us oh, that we have to be wise as serpents and say yeah, harmless as doves. That means we need to be careful. Amen. And that's all that means. Amen. We need to be careful. Amen. And then lastly, the young man that had came in um, with, that we, um, on last week, the visitor. Um, had something to say and whatnot when mom was talking and I came down and intervened on you know her behalf of you know block her from anything that could be um, and uh, he went to shaking hands and hugging folk and whatnot too um, I understand on last week so we have to be careful amen, amen. we do have to be careful amen and so um, and I want to say this for going forward um, someone like that comes in our midst, amen. You are not wrong to tell him, no, thank you. I'd rather not hug. Amen. God bless you. You can let him know. Amen. And if he don't want to recognize me, I, I, I got your back. I'll let him know. No, brother, God bless you. We're not hugging. Amen. Uh, you know, you got you to gotta know how to stand up and say, be what you got to be. Amen. amen. That's what God calls us to be. Amen. He don't want no coward soldiers. Can I get a witness? Amen. amen. And certainly we're not. So we just, uh, I wanted to address that uh, up front going into um altar prayer, amen, because we just want to make sure that all is well, amen? amen, all is well in our hearts and minds and our spirits, and that's just giving the devil a black eye, and that's what I want to do, amen, any way possible, I want to give him a black eye, an uppercut, because I hate him, amen. amen, and don't like him, and I'm glad he don't like me, amen. So, amen. Just to share those few um, um, observations, amen. Let's go and go to the Lord in prayer, amen. The Bible says men ought to always pray, amen, and not faint, which means there's never a time, uh, no reason for that you don't pray, a time that you don't talk to God in prayer. Prayer is essential. Can I get a witness? Prayer is the key. Amen. The old folk mothers and them say faith unlocks the door. Uh, if you got the faith, God has the power. I'm not disputing the mothers. That's a beautiful um, perspective. But I like to say it this way. Whether you got the faith or not, God still got the power. Can I get a witness? Amen. We can't limit God's power. Hallelujah. God is omniscient, omnipresent, omnis omnipotent. He knows everything. Strong. He's all powerful. He knows everything. He everywhere. Amen. Who can who can stop an omnipresence of a God like that? Amen. Amen. But the position is, you need to have faith. Amen. You need to have faith so that God, He says, uh, 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 according to your faith, be it unto you. Which means you gotta have faith for Him to do it. Amen. Amen. He'll do it without your faith, but he'll do it better with your faith. Amen. Faith is the key, amen. Faith unlocks the door. If you have any there are concerns, things you want to take to the Lord in prayer, amen. We acknowledge it, and we will keep taking it to the Lord in prayer as we go to the Lord, amen, in prayer. If there are um, unspoken requests, that is, that you don't want to divulge or share, amen. Um, 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 just say spoken request and God hears it, God knows it anyway amen, we don't have to hear it it ain't our business, amen but amen, God knows amen, and he's already in control, amen sometimes he just needs us to let him know we need him, amen sometimes he wants to know that we need him, amen, and like a father, mother amen, we can lay there for us amen, but how, how mama know to help you if you don't go and tell her you got a problem God wants to know that we need him. Amen? Amen. And so we want to take those concerns to the Lord and pray. We want to continue our way to pray for us as a people. Amen. The Cedar Grove Church. Amen. Us as a people of the Cedar Grove Church. That God continue to bless us. Amen. Amen. That God will continue to be found in us. Amen. Amen. That God will continue to use us. Amen. 
that God will continue to build a defense and a hedge protection around us, amen, amen, and continue to use us for his glory and for his honor. We want to be a beacon light, amen. amen. We, want to, we don't just want to be the nice pretty church on the corner. We want to be a beacon light, amen. amen. A beacon light being a, a, a place, a church where people can come, amen. amen. Come and find the help they need, which mostly and always will be God, amen. 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 Want to continue to pray for Amen. Darby family, as Bishop and Lady Darby and Mother Darby, our entire household, that now will bless. Amen. And we'll continue to uh, bless Mother. She's doing pretty good. Amen. But amen. amen. Uh, when he's doing good, you want to thank him and, and let him keep doing good. Amen. Amen. All of our mothers, we want to keep them before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Amen. They pray for us. We need to pray for them too. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Any other requests before we go to the Lord in prayer? Any other? Want to pray for you, man. What's the last name of that family? Do you know their last name? Who? Me? The Williams family. Amen. Lady Darby. Um, um, a young lady that uh, she knows um, dearly. Um, is connected to her, her brother and her uh, nieces. Uh, we shared last week. She died. Amen. Um, not even 30 years old yet. Uh, three baby, three ba three dog, three children, and a baby just had. And uh, she lost. Amen. They lost her to the COVID-19. Amen. So we want to lift them up in prayer. Amen. Uh, uh, this thing is very real, y'all. Amen. And it can't be said enough. This thing is real. People are walking around today may not be walking around tonight. Amen. And so we want to, um, that's why, and that's one reason why I prayed about that thing as I shared it to you all, because I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to be as, as trying to be the man of God, as being the man of God, I don't want to be held in, in any type of content, amen, uh, um, doing something, amen, and in the, the, the point of view of, of God uh, of, um, giving us inclination, but then, amen, having to suffer a scenario such as this, we got to, again, be careful of our climate, amen, our altitude, what's going on. So we want to keep the Williams family, amen, up before the Lord in prayer, amen. Uh, they got a situation, amen, and they, um, they're they kind of numb, amen. But how many know we know the one that can hinder and one that can heal the numbness, amen. We know the one that can heal the numbness, amen. And so we want to keep them up before the Lord in prayer, the Williams family. Any other requests, any other requests, anybody, amen. All right, let's pray. Father God, we come this morning, come with hearts, we come with, uh, oh God, with uh, praises yet up our lips, because we have something to be thankful for. You opened our eyes that we might see this morning. You started us on our way. You allowed us to get up out of that bed. You didn't let it be our cooling board. You allowed us to put one foot before the other. Amen. The corner, nobody had to come, uh, uh, come um, deal with us. Oh God, you woke us up this morning, and you put Amen. You put feeling in our feet and you put unction in our legs and you put, amen, a thought pattern process to our minds and say, get up out of this bed and let's get in the bathroom and let's get it going for a new dawn of a day. And then you let our good mind work, oh God, because you allowed us to put clothes on and make it to your house of worship this morning. You gave us good sense and we used it this morning because, oh God, we're here in your holy tabernacle giving your name the praise. Giving your name all glory that's due you. Thanking you. Hallelujah for this one more day, oh God. There is someone that is not able to say that this morning. But Lord, we thank you. We thank you to be able to say, Lord, thank you for one more day. Lord, it is one more day that you have given us. And we thank you for it. We praise you and we glorify you in it. And we, oh God, ask that as you look at it and the fact of it's another day to try to get it right for you. It's another day to try to work out the kinks for our living unto you. It's another day that we can try to dot the I's and cross the T's in order to give a, a righteous worship and righteousness to your holy and righteous name because you are God this morning and besides you there is none other. We come, oh God, with humble hearts. We come this morning with thanksgiving on our lips. We come with head clapping. We come with fifth stopping. We come because we, God, we know that if it were not for you this morning, where would we be? We, some of us, know where we would be. And but for those of us that don't know, God, we would be somewhere else than in your house this morning, giving you praise and giving you glory. For again, we thank you for being a good God. You are a good God, not have been. 
Yes, you have been, but you are a good God. And you're a good God right now. And we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your presence, your peace. Oh, God, we thank you for your love, your joy divine. How you, oh, God, keep on and keep on and keep on making ways for us. Out of no way, seeing, oh, God, looking beyond, Lord, our faults. We don't do everything right that you tell us to, but yet you love us anyway. And you look beyond our faults and, and you seek our needs. Lord, we thank you this morning. We are glad that you're that kind of God, that you don't look just upon our shortcomings and you don't look just at our faults, but Lord, you see us as your children in the midst of our faults. You shake us and you dust us off. You say, that's all right, my child. Try it again. And we thank you this morning for being that kind of God. A God of mercy. Hallelujah. A God of grace. A God of peace and patience. Oh, God, we thank you. We love you this morning. No greater love, no greater love than the love that you have for us, oh, God. And we just want to say thank you this morning. We want to say thank you for you keeping us in the midst of this situation in our land. Lord, it's a situation in our land just like you sent the deaf angel oh God in, in Egypt and in, in, in Egypt and Goshen. Lord, you sent the, a situation in our land, oh God. Whether you sent it or not, you allowed it to be so. And we know, God, we know, we know, we know. There are some that are saying, why, if there's a God, why is he letting this happen? Lord, we're not going to dare to talk stupid that way and say, if there's a God, why is this going on. But we're going to continue to keep our faith and trust in you this morning. And what we're going to say is in spite of whatever's going on, Lord, we depend on you. Hallelujah. Lord, we're going to depend on you. We're going to trust you to see us through. Hallelujah to your name. And so in the midst of that, oh God, we just ask that you would continue to bless us. Continue to keep us, oh God. In your name we pray, oh God, don't let anything happen to your people, your children that does not apply and go along with your will and your way for us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, block every every stumbling block, hinder every trick and trap, oh God, we pray. Don't let us touch nothing that ain't right to touch. Don't let nothing touch us that ain't good to touch us. Don't let us, oh God, be in the midst of anything that ain't where we need to be, oh God. Cover your people, we pray. In the name of Jesus, cover us, oh God. shelter. We need your, oh God, we need your cloak of peace upon us, we pray, oh God. Touch all our families, every home represented right now in the name of Jesus. Those that are not here, don't even come. Lord, that are connected to each family here, bless your people today, oh God, everywhere. We need you today. We need you every hour. Touch right now. By your power and by your spirit. Oh God, continue to bless the Williams family in the tragedy they're dealing with. Give them peace, oh God. That's a passage all understanding. Be with them, oh God. Oh God, be with them. This kind of thing can even uh, 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 shatter their very, very being, oh God. And not even know what to do, oh God. But Lord, be their understanding. Be their peace. Be their consolation. Give them just what they need, oh God, in this time we pray. Oh, Master, then we ask that you will continue to bless us. Continue to unify us, unify us in Christian love. Continue, oh God, to make us nothing weak. There's no weakness to our chain, love. They say the chain is weak, as strong as its weakest link. There are no weak links because we're striving, we're striving, we're striving, we're striving, we're striving, we're striving. We're striving to please you. So, Master, we pray that you will bless us today. Let our worship be worship unto you. Let our worship be a sweet smell and savor unto you, O oh God, today. Let all that we say, all that we do, let it, Lord, be pleasing unto you. Let our lives bring glory to your name. Then we ask, O oh God, that you will look upon our musicians this morning, wherever he may be, wherever they are, Whatever is going on, we don't know, but you know. We're not going to grumble and gripe because they're not here. We're going to intercede on their behalf and say, Lord, whatever has blocked them from getting to your house this morning, Lord, bind it in your name, we pray, and cover them. Cover them, oh God. Cover them, oh Master. They're diligent. They're diligent. They love you and they're diligent. 
They come to their post, oh God, they're diligent. Oh God, let that diligence be that same preamble to bring them out of whatever they're in because they're your child. They're your child, oh God, they're your children. Bless them right now by your power and by your spirit. We pray that, Lord, when we hear from them, that it be whatever the report is, but we per se want the report of that they're okay and that they're well. Whose report will we believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. And we pray right now that you go before them, that you go wherever they may be, oh God, and work it out, bring them out. True deliverance, we pray over them right now. In Jesus, your son's blessed name. And Lord, we will continue. We will be careful to give your name the praise. We will continue and be careful to give your name the glory that's due you. We will continue and we will forever give your name all glory that's due it. It's all in Jesus' precious name we pray. Let every heart say amen. amen. I can't hear you. Amen. 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 And amen. Give it to the poor. Oh, and the Lord will give it back to you. Yes, he will. Oh, and the Lord will give it back to you. Bless the giver and the givers in Jesus. Amen. And amen. What's a good congregational song? That's uh, what's a good congregational song? Um, uh, go in my archive real quick. Um, um, okay, that's a good one. If it had not been for the So now we pray and we ask, oh God, that you remove me even now 
Oh God, as I supplied the mechanics, I pray and I ask that you will send the dynamics just now. This is your written word. This is now to be again your spoken word. Speak now, thy servant heareth. Hide us beneath the cross, let your blood fluently flow. That we stand not in the image of ourselves, but that we stand totally and completely in the immerse us under the cross we play. Oh God, immerse us under your streaming blood. Oh God, and then oh, we pray that at the end of the conclusion of the whole matter, that someone that's less, someone that's outside of the ark of safety, if they be any, oh God, will hear your word, hear thereof of your word, and come ask what must they do to be saved. Yes. Oh God, we ask even now, send the preacher, send the preacher. Yes. And we be careful to give your name the praise. We will always be careful Hallelujah. to hear from you and give your name the praise. Hallelujah. We will forever be careful and give your name the praise. It's all in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. With the interest, amen, of your prayers this morning, we want to, amen, yet, uh, we want to yet be obedient, <clears throat> we want to be obedient to God, obedient to the perspective of the cross in which is our symbol of those that are living set free. Those that are living set free from sin. How many know that the cross is the symbol that sets us free <clears throat> from sin? How many believe that it's the cross that stands in the gap that separates us from sin. How many know that it's the cross that stands twixt and between those that have sworn and given their life to live it for God and for those that are continuing to live on the path that is not the path of righteousness. The cross I suggest to us this morning is, bless God, it is the emblem the symbol, the preamble and symbol of those that have now decided to live under what you could call being blood bought. The cross, amen, is the symbol that, that rectifies sin and wrong. Mm -hmm. It spells out good and evil. The cross, mind you, is the symbol that uh, literally obliterates sin and the stain thereof. The cross is the symbol of us that have decided that we're going to follow Jesus. Hallelujah. That ought to bring good news to somebody. If, if you have decided to follow Jesus, you need to be saying something on that one. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because to say that I have decided to follow Jesus is no mere perspective or something to talk about. To say I've decided to live with Jesus suggests something. It suggests that you have turned your back on the world. You've turned your back on Satan. All for one cause to follow Jesus. You say that you're, 
you're going to follow Jesus, it relates to the position of saying that you are willing and that you're going to follow the cross. Yes. Yes. Wherever it may go or wherever it may lead you, your symbol, your standard is going to be in the glory saving of the cross. Amen. Amen. The cross where Jesus hung, bled, and died. We speak of Calvary and we speak of the cross in dual formation because you literally have to talk about them in dual fashion. Amen. Amen. You, you can't talk about Calvary without talking about the cross, but it don't really make it doesn't really bring a consensus to the perspective if you just talk about Calvary and don't talk about the cross. Can I get a witness? It seems like you've left out a major portion of the subject matter if you go to talking about Calvary and don't talk about the cross. That suggests that the cross is essential. Can I get an amen on that? The cross is not only uh, is not only essential, but the cross is. The cross is, it's a gotta be. In other words, you can't talk about the one without the other. What's so significant about Calvary? I'm glad you didn't ask. Calvary is significant because it's where the cross was laid upon when they laid out Jesus, when they laid our Lord and Savior down on the cross and spiked his hands and, and riveted his feet and rose him up between earth and heaven. It's significant because it's where the cross it's where the cross was laid. It's where the cross was, was, was hewed up. It's where the cross was raised up. It's where the cross became the symbol of our emancipation. <laughs> it set us free. Our glory saving is in the cross of Calvary. Now here's a real here's a real simple simple perspective. I'm not, I'm not gonna be be long, I'm gonna be almost through. Uh, if not for the cross. How then would we be set free? Hallelujah. Just, just think about it. Just, if you got an idea, blur it out real quick. I don't have one. Amen. Um, well, because let me help you with it. Let me help you with it. I ask that question because there's no there's no answer. Can I get a witness? Uh, How is it? It ain't no answer, Bishop. I'm glad you didn't ask. God, somebody say God. God, uh, God knew and he foreknew that the position and the need for the cross again was essential. Are you with me? Why was it essential, Bishop? Because a word to say, but man kept getting wicked. Amen. And he was wicked and kept on getting wicked. Amen. He got more wicked than he could be wicked. He just got wicked. Amen. You gotta be wicked, amen. Uh, you gotta be wicked if, amen, God sent two angels to the city when Lot and uh, 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 Abraham, Abraham was getting out of Sodom and Gomorrah and, and, and uh, all the wickedness that was there. Can I get a witness? And, and they prayed and prayed. God said, he said, this, he prayed for 50. He couldn't get 50 folks saved in the whole city. Now that's sad. 50 people in the whole city and the whole city was going to get blew up, burnt up, uh, tore up and by God, by hell and by brimstone and because he couldn't find 50 people in the whole city? I mean, think about that for a second. 
gonna, he gonna kill, he gonna blow up, he gonna wipe LA off the map unless he find 50 folk in the city say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a sad indictment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, this big city, talk back to me. Yeah. Yeah. In the whole city? Yeah. That's the perspective that, that he, 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 he spoke to, to Lot and Abraham. Abraham, he told them 50 people, fine, I'll spare it. Couldn't find 50. Started negotiating with God. Well, okay, let me, let me kind of, you know, kind of come on, 40? God worked with him. God played the game with him. God played chess with him. Go ahead. Couldn't find 40. Couldn't find 30. Couldn't find 20. Couldn't find 10. And outside of his own household, that meant that was all he had. He couldn't find, outside of his household, he couldn't find none. None, watch this, that was righteous to spare the city. Now that's got to be a pretty wicked place and situation to not find nobody in it but your family that's saved and loving God. Yes, yes, yes. Man, it got wicked. God realized that man was going to get wickeder. Yep. He saw that the thing that he had ordained, the sacrifice, the sacrificial, the sacrificial burnt offering, he made that in place. He made that as the conduct between us and man and him. Yeah. When man, amen, you, you remember your Bible, don't you? When man had made a sin, when man had uh, um, did a sin, committed a sin, what did he have to do? He had to get a, a, a sheep, a, a pure sheep, a pure, a pure sheep, no spots or blemishes. He had to get a, 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 a turtle dove, a pigeon or something, not any blemishes, not lame or anything. He had to slay it and he had to lay it up on the altar, go to the temple, lay it up on the altar and sacrifice it. And in that, that was God's medium, say medium. That was God's medium between man and heaven, man and glory to atone for his sins. Amen, amen. I say this jokingly, man. I said it jokingly to my professor in, uh, in, in college and uh, in seminary. And the question was asked, why do you think that God changed from the Old Testament or in the old to the old New Testament perspective and did away with the with the with the with the, the offering, the burnt offering and, and let allow his son Jesus to be the, the the essential and the last only burnt offering. Why did he why do you think Jesus did that? I told him, my answer was I said, well, I guess God believed that if he had kept it the old way, it would have ran out somewhere, somewhere along, somewhere a long time. It would have ran out because it wouldn't have been able to produce enough animals to keep on uh, uh, slaying for man's sins. He said he laughed. I said it kind of jokingly, but he gave me an A plus. Why did he give me an A plus? Because the position and the perspective I gave was a, was one of a great analogy. Man, I just told you, a whole city got um, uh, uh, blew up because they couldn't find ten in it that was righteous. Amen. Amen. Now, but this little man and his family. And then to add insult to injury, when the angels came, amen, they were so wicked. That's why I got on that because of the word wicked. I'm just messing with it, but it's the truth. They were so wicked. He'll give it to me to preach it. Because there's a whole lot in that, though. There's a whole lot in this. Amen. And Sister Lot did that. And that's why she got stuck right there. She turned into a statue, a pillow of salt, right where she stood because he said, Don't. I suggest that 
that the symbol, the cross being our symbol of salvation and our symbol of being set free is rectified in the fact that, amen, that same symbol is that which allows us not to look. He who the Son has set free is what? Free in When Jesus steps into your life, he doesn't step into your life for you to be doing a look back party. He look, he sacrifices your life and he puts you on the street of righteousness so that you can look forward and go forward to what he has for you. Come in, John, let me help, help me on it. John said it this way. He said, I am persuaded of neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor no, no height, no death, nor any such thing shall separate me from the love. Lord. Y'all ain't gonna look back. I ain't got no time, Shannon, to be looking back. I ain't got no time, but I ain't got no time to be looking back. The only thing about back, I got one thing about back. Lord, thank you for where you brought me from. Can I get a witness here? Lord, thank you for what you brought me from. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you brought me out. Can't fall. 
falling with the weight of the stock. I suggest it, the stock was the weight of us. The stock was the weight. Yeah, it was heavy in itself, but the stock represented us. The stock represented the sins of the whole world. Look at him. Bearing that stock. Bearing that weight up on his shoulders. But yet being beat. Yet being scorned and spit upon and ridiculed. Can you see him? Can you see him yet going up the hill? Each step he took. It was not for his own it wasn't for his own satisfaction. It wasn't for his own deliverance. It was in his obedience to the will of the Father. How so? John 3 and 16, come and tell them, for God so loved. So loved what? The world, the weight that he had on his shoulder. He so loved the weight, the shoulder on his shoulder. So God so loved the world that he gave. Hey. Bless his name. Are you hearing me? He His only begotten son gave his best for sinful us. Gave his best. That's why he knew he couldn't depend on the act of turtle dove and the sheep no more. Amen. They wouldn't have been able to produce enough, amen, in and, 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 and substance because man. And not only was he real, really wicked then, he was going to get wickeder coming up. Wait, there we, here we come. I said, here we come. Amen. He knew that wasn't going to be able to work. He knew that the animal, the population of that was not going to be sufficient. Simple and plain. He needed the blood that would atone once and for all. Look at your neighbor and say once and for all. Aren't you happy? Daddy did it once and for all. Hallelujah. Aren't you happy today? Daddy did it once and for all. Aren't you glad that he sent Jesus to come down through 42 generations? Aren't you glad that he came through the 42 generations and did nothing but good? the sick raise the dead killed and healed those that he came into contact with opening deaf ears and opening uh, uh, blinded eyes feeding multitudes can I get a witness aren't you glad that he did it once and for all I don't know about you this morning but I'm glad I'm glad I said I'm glad I'm and for all because that was signified John 3 16 in my mind for God yeah so love yeah us the world that the wicked that he gave his yeah son Jesus that he might uh -huh, die for sin for us me you me you you us me and amen gave his son and that ain't all he did but the son gave his life y'all ain't with me I'm gonna leave y'all alone the son that we might be free. Aren't you glad for the cross today? Hallelujah, I'm done. Aren't you glad for the cross today? The cross makes the difference in your life, honey. You better understand and know that sure enough it's the cross that makes the difference in our lives. We wouldn't have nothing to say hallelujah to if it were not for the cross. Y'all better say it's the cross, it's the cross that paid the redemption for your sinful life. It's the cross that made me whole again. Come here, what's the song say? What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. Y'all ain't with this. What can make me whole again, mama? is the flow that makes me whiter than snow. No other fountain I know. Say it one time with me. Nothing but the blood. One more time. Nothing but the blood. One more time. Let's give him a real black eye. Nothing Woo! but the blood of Jesus. Aren't you glad for 
when he came out of that grave, he said, now I got the sting of death. I got the sting of death. What should I do with it? Should I throw it in the Euphrates mountains? No, he'll find it there. What should I throw to the pit of hell? No, he'll find it there. What should I do with it? He said, I'm going to take that sting and I'm going to hide it in my bosom. No longer.
Yeah, Jesus is my Jesus is my portion. A constant friend is he. And I'm going to live for him. I'm going to live for him. Hallelujah. I'm going to live for him. Might be one today. I heard this message. Let me not. Let me. If Jesus came right now. Hallelujah. 